Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne and I'll be taking a look at the newly released MyCloud OS 3 update on the WD MyCloud EX4100 Expert Series 4 Bay pre-configured NAS. This is the 16 terabyte version. Be sure to check out my other two videos on the WD MyCloud NAS on JTL to find out more about this product. First, let's make sure MyCloud has the latest firmware. Do not unplug your NAS while it's upgrading and it will auto-reboot once it's complete. Once the MicroP firmware update is in progress, do not restart or shut down the NAS. Afterwards, your device will reboot. Then, you will be prompted to sign back into your MyCloud account. Click I agree to the user agreement and hit continue. Type in your registration info and click finish. Voila, you are now updated to the newest firmware version on your device. Here's what's new with MyCloud OS 3. WD has removed the need for the MyCloud application on your computer and has moved to a web interface. MyCloud.com will now give you global access to your NADs as long as you have an internet connection. You will receive an email that notifies you that your account has been successfully verified and can be accessed. Just sign in and you're good to go. You will be able to see how much capacity your drives have available and the settings icon will allow you to manage users like adding a user. To configure your device, you will still need to access the device's dashboard while on your local network. Your separate folders are listed in this section. Click on whichever folder you wish to access. You can upload files by clicking on this icon or drag and drop your content directly into the folder. The Create Folder option is a quick and easy step to manage new content. Highlight any folder and options will appear. You can share, rename, delete the folder, and the like. The same options apply to the contents of a folder too. You can even choose to view your folders in a grid or list format. I prefer list as it looks cleaner. Let's take a look at photos in the JTL2 folder. It's much more appealing to view these images in grid format so you can pick out uploaded images at a glance. Double click on an image to enlarge the photo, then hit the left and right arrow keys to sift through the photos. This is a great way to share content with others no matter where you are because your files will always be where you left them, in your NAS. There's a new functionality here, you can share a public or private link. Private links can allow editing of folders or their contents for the first time. If you share a private link, you can also remove access at a later point via the top navigation. Another new feature in OS 3 is WD Sync, which allows you to sync data across multiple PCs via MyCloud NAS. In this drag-down menu, you get the option to get WD Sync. Let's install WD Sync. After it installs, click Next. You'll need to sign into your account first. Then check off the folders on your PC that you wish to automatically back up to the NAS whenever you update the content across these folders. Click Next to continue. Once it's configured, setup is complete. I choose to create a desktop shortcut to the MyCloud folder. Click Finish and you're all set! You will see the WD Sync folder in your MyCloud under Shares. Be sure to turn the public access to the Share to On. When you do, the WD Sync folder will also appear in MyCloud.com. This is what the WD Sync MyCloud folder looks like once it's opened. You can create folders directly in the WD Sync MyCloud folder and drag and drop the files right into the created folder. It's so simple. You can follow the same process with another computer and always have your files in sync no matter which system you are on. Can't forget about the MyCloud mobile smartphone application. If you have already downloaded the previous WD MyCloud app, then all you'll need is an upgrade. Go ahead and sign into the app. The MyCloud mobile app is great for backing up photos and videos from your smartphone and tablet straight onto the NAS. You will be able to choose the backup location of your phone's photos and videos onto the drive. Let's go with the public folder and sync to the shared pictures folder. On this page, you will be able to access all your folders and their contents as well as your synced content. For example, if you tap into JTL2, you'll be able to view the images that are in that folder. This is the share link icon with options to share a link or a folder with others. You can even search within the folders to find exactly what you're looking for. This menu will allow you to access your phone's camera, upload content from your gallery, music files, and SD card, create a new folder, and even select certain files so you can share them, download them, save to your SD card, and the like. The drag-down menu on the upper left corner allows you to toggle the settings for the EX4100 NAS as well as access folders on your mobile device. You can manage devices and services and see your downloads. There's also a look at your phone activity and shared content between users. The MyCloud OS includes features like MyCloud Device SDK and MyCloud API for developers interested in building new extensions, features, and capabilities that leverage MyCloud storage devices. That wraps up this look at the MyCloud OS 3 update on the WD MyCloud EX4100 Expert Series 4 Bay pre-configured NAS. This video concludes the three-part series on this NAS. I'd like to thank WD for sponsoring this video, and if you're interested in purchasing or learning more about the MyCloud Expert Series NAS, please click the link in the description below. Also, hop on over to WD's own YouTube channel to check out what they've got going on there. Thanks for watching!